Space out, dude. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? All right, this is PAP Update 22. I don't have the second installment stuff yet that I have uh, was talking about in my Update 21. So we'll do that on the next update, I hope. Today, uh, I had a little bit of time. Um, I'm going to show you what I did, what I'm doing, and show you some of the results. So here we go. Are you ready? I'll show you what I got. All right. Oh, by the way, my name is Russ. RWGResearch.com is my website. Let's go. Okay, here's what I got today. I have taken off one capacitor section of my capacitor bank. I just stole the top one there. I made it quite nice and easy to get these out when I want to use just a single bank. This is a 1,000 joule bank at 330 volts. Okay, each one is 300 and, or 3,300 microfarads. Okay, you can do the math. Okay, I'm not always charging these up fully, by the way. Sometimes I just a little bit under, depending on what I got my my uh, depending on what I got my timers set to. Now I may only be at around four to three hundred joules, and uh, just keep that in mind. I've got my old circuit connected, and I'm having problems with this darn thing. This thing is so powerful that it blows these things apart, and it doesn't get a good uh, connection between the high voltage and low voltage. Um, kind of crazy the way those things jump off there. So I've got my old circuit hooked up. This is the way I have it. My old schematic. All right, they got the spark gap, the capacitor bank, the transformer, and the neon sign transformer. This is the high voltage to low voltage transformer. And then I just got a single pair of electrodes. I did put the buckets back in there, and you can see my glass. I got a glass on here. It's a little foggy. I don't know. You can't see too much reflections, but my buckets are in there, and. Uh, it's like a nice film in there. There's a bucket. So, and I've got a balloon on here today. <clears throat> We're going to do some balloon testing. I've got it just, just a little above atmosphere. Maybe right at. Okay. So I've been playing with this and I've been having problems with holes in here. So we'll see how long this one lasts because it takes a while. I currently have this filled up with 99.999% pure helium. Okay. And, um... That's it. That's the setup, and I'm just going to kind of rapidly fire this. I'm going to turn the lights off so we can get a good visual of the glow versus the balloon. Okay, I'm at 1080p, uh, 60 frames a second. We'll see what we can do. Real quickly, um, I'm pretty sure the guy's name is Willard. If I got this wrong, I do apologize. I didn't look it up. It's going by memory here. Willard's been doing some really cool stuff. He's been taking a sphere and discharging some capacitors into it. What he has done, I believe he was using air. What he's done is he's taken some aluminum foil, okay, and wrapped it around this sphere, okay, and when he fires this thing, he gets a little bit different reaction than when he doesn't cover it up. So all the photon energy and any other energy that's trying to escape gets reflected back into this sphere that he's got he's using as his chamber and uh, he's got a balloon on there and here's what he's got when he fires it once the balloon kind of fills up and then kind of fades off fills up and kind of fades off okay but when he takes tin foil and wraps around there it fills up and it kind of sustains it and then after a while it slowly fades off it's like a 10 second difference that's a pretty big difference now I'm currently using helium and I have tried this experiment I don't have any different results whatsoever my chamber might be different, my electrodes might be different, the sparking might be different. I don't know what the real difference is. Maybe I need to use lower power. Maybe I can try that. Maybe we'll try that first, compare those tests at lower power. So I'm going to currently, uh, let me show you what I got over here. Currently I've just got the standard setup here. This is my bypass. This is my new electronics from Tim. Thank you, Tim and have been working together on some stuff. I'll give his last name out on the next installment that I was talking about. You guys are going to bombard this guy. Poor fella. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and set this low. I'm going to go ahead and charge these capacitors. Sorry, 89 volts. Let's bring it up a little bit. Ah, 
I'm back. I had a little incident with my little one. Ha! <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna charge this up and show you what voltage we're at. Okay. 155 to 160 because it won't charge up fully so I'm not going to hold it down that long so that is what my firing voltage is at alright so let's go ahead and set up the camera and I'll turn off the lights and uh, see what kind of information we can get I'm going to end up pulling some slow stills off of this and all sorts of stuff so sit back relax and enjoy There we go. Single fire first. We're just at 150 volts. Make sure you can see that balloon. You can see it. Alright, I'm going to let it auto fire for a while. Then I'm going to change the timing so it fires faster. Now let's wrap some of this loon pool around here and see what the difference is. See if we get a difference. Strangely, I'm having a feeling we won't after my earlier tests. So let's try. I even have a little piece for the top somewhere. I got my mirror on here so you can still see. Should be able to see a flash. I'm going to do a single fire. Not much difference from my standpoint. I don't see a whole lot of difference. Not like Not much difference. Now I'm going to uh, take this back off. We'll set it up to run a little bit faster. It's a little more interesting when we run it faster. Balloon actually will start blowing up. Now, for reference, that balloon is actually pretty warm. I don't have my gun out here, my heat gun, but it cools off very rapidly. Nonetheless, it is warm. Now the glass. The glass isn't really very warm. This whole metal thing isn't very warm either. Alright, let's get it set up to go a little faster. Alright, <clears throat> this is a little faster. I haven't tested it yet. I'm going to fire it once. 
See if I can see what the voltage brings up to. This is going to be a lot lower now. 90 volts. About 100 volts. Let's see if we can get the volts a little bit higher here. Now you can see the balloon changing. It's a little bit different now. I'll go ahead and let it auto fire. See what this balloon does. I'll shut it down if it gets crazy. I hope you can see that balloon well enough. I'm gonna feel it. it. That's hot. I mean, that's hot to the touch. Very hot. I need to go get my pro, really. Now, let's try that with tinfoil around. See if it changes at all. See if I get a better reaction here. So the gases themselves are actually hot. The balloon is hot, I should say. The rubber is hot. So there at least is an instant, instantaneous. Somewhere there's a short duration of time where the gases get hot. Obviously they should. See, now it's cool already. Okay. I got a little fall on there. Let's go ahead and auto fire again and see what happens. how much bigger the balloon is. It's slowly deflating. I got just enough in there where the, the balloon stays pressurized. Maybe I should take just a little bit out. Got away. The balloon sags just a little. You can see what our pressure difference is. Sixty mil or sixty cc's, I think, right there. Let's go a little bit more. There we go. So now we're just barely length. I'm afraid if I go too far, I'm gonna poke a hole in. So let's go ahead and fire it a few more times here, and uh, so far it wants. See what happens. Maybe there's that some, some, uh, that effect that Willard so let's try without the aluminum foil. You see it? Let's try it a couple more times. Alright, let's try without this stuff and see the changes. I, I uh, didn't have any luck with the change. Let's see what happens. Here. It's a little, little faster, it seems, doesn't it? It's auto fire, right?
Now obviously the gases are warm, so the balloon's going to stay up for a little bit. <clears throat> Still got some thermal expansion in there, I believe. Alright, let's speed up the process and see if we can get that balloon to inflate more. Uh, still, still recording, didn't change anything. It's getting to the point where it's starting to droop. That's a pretty long time. It's just now sucking in. So there's the duration if you wanted to know. Still going down. <clears throat> So that's, that's obviously, there's a pressure in there for quite some time. So let's go ahead and speed up the process. Alright, currently running about twice as fast. Let me check the voltage, it's going to be hard to follow here and see what we got. Fix my transformer again. I'm telling you, that thing jumps around. It's crazy. Pretty hot. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's put the aluminum foil on there and see if it changes. High grade stuff, just boring aluminum for them. Nothing fancy. <laughs> Alright, see if we get a different reaction. There we go.
shut her off. We'll see how long it takes for the flight. Just for your guys' reference, I'm going to try to keep it around 150 volts. That's 16,500 microfarads. It's 185 joules, so somewhere between 150 to 200 joules a pop. <clears throat> Just for reference, there you go. Now you know. I'll go ahead and turn the light on. I feel I have a in. I haven't tried to extract any any electricity out of this yet. Maybe I can set that up real quick and try a few tests. I have a few ideas of what I want to do. Let this deflate for you. It definitely smells and stuff. It just smells weird. It smells warm. Wires are, yeah, they're, they're warm. Transformer's pretty hot. It's probably what I smell. I'm going to let everything cool down. And, uh, Glass is definitely warm. That whole base is actually pretty hot. A lot more heat than I'm used to, that's for sure. I don't have some of my stuff installed, so I can't give you measurements right now. Alright, <clears throat> I'm going to let everything cool down. We'll try... Uh, Maybe we'll try something else. Maybe we won't. I think I know what I smell. Transformer's getting hot. Real hot. Pumping a lot of current through it. This bad boy's only rated for, I think, uh, 750 kV. KVA. And it's toasty. Burn your hand hot. Bridge rectifier, 5 amp. No, it's 25 amp, maybe. I don't think it's 25 amp. It's pretty cool. Wires are pretty cool. Variac doesn't feel warm at all, but that's what I smell. <clears throat> I've had some incidents with that, and uh, it smells hot. Now, what's up with these birds out here? I'll be quiet out there. I'm trying to film. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to let everything cool down. We'll see how it goes. I didn't have enough time to do really what I really wanted to get done today. But I did get a few things done. So, uh, there you go. I hope we learned something. See how the slow motion footage uh, goes and we'll see the difference between the balloon. Now, I'm using about, well, I, I, I can crank up the power to full power a few times here for you. And show you exactly um, under a thousand joules what it looks like. And it's actually very interesting because the balloon doesn't blow up. You know, we think there's a thousand PSI in this cylinder, but there's not. Not for that balloon not to blow up. So let me set that up and I'll show you. All right. <clears throat> what is in the way? The wire is in the way. Let's move you around. I'm going to get you, yeah, that'll work. Okay, I'm just going to go full power. That's basically a thousand joules worth of energy here. I'm going to do a single shot so we can see what it looks like. So 
a lot of power. We didn't do just high voltage, did we? Hopefully I don't kill my camera. Let me go a little bit lower so you can see in the mirror. And you can watch the balloon. She'll be able to see that. Uh, can you see the balloon? Let's get a really good close up of that bad boy. Maybe. Let's get something else to focus on. There we go. I'm going to do a couple close-up shots of the balloon under full power here. So let's charge it up. Full power. Thousand joules. I'm going to hold the high voltage in after I fire and see if that changes anything. See it fire again? Let's do it again. There we go. There it went. Did you see it? Let me get you further away. It popped twice. Okay. Watch what happens. Just charging it, then I'm just gonna hold the fire button down. And there it went, pop twice. That only once that time. Try it again. Oh, there it went again, twice. Go a little bit higher voltage, 175 volts. Alright, pop twice. Let's see if we can get it to do it three times. Yep, only twice. Try it one more time. There you go. <clears throat> Let me get you a some footage of the actual inside of this thing while I'm firing it. I'm gonna do it, pop it twice here. The camera's not gonna be steady shot, sorry. There we go. Try it one more time. Alright, I'm going to try one more time with the lights off. <clears throat> I'm going to shut it down because my transformer is smelling hot. There we go. I saw it. I got the camera at an angle too, so... Oh, what was that? Time. All right, shutting her down. Woo! Believe it or not, it's hot out here. It's actually uh, it's not real hot, but it's very humid. For your guys's reference in the world, looks to be about. Well, it's hard to see. 83, 84, which isn't hot, but it is humid. All right, well, this is Rest. I've been your host. Hope you learned something today. I didn't get as much time as I thought I was going to get, but I got enough to uh, try a few tests. And uh, I did learn a few things, but unfortunately, I could not replicate the results that I seen uh, Willard do. And I'm not real sure why. Um, I'm going to have to ask for some, a few more details and see if I can replicate that. 
other than that, waiting for that second installment. You guys are gonna like it. Should uh, should be able to do that sometime this week, I hope. Just waiting on some things. Mail takes a while. All right, peace and love to you guys. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll try to get back with all my comments and stuff here in a little while. But I do appreciate it. All right, see you guys.